Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Sunday and a great weekend. And no, it's not Memorial Day weekend. I had that little brain excursion yesterday, but no, I'm a week ahead of time. So we're all, everything's good. It, next weekend is Memorial Day weekend. So sorry. Yeah. Today is day five of my drawing extravaganza and we are working on Hope and Love by Maud and Clara and Maud Pickernell 1881 a Bristol Orphanage sampler and it is by Hands Across the Sea as you can see and we're about there and about to get all the way across so I've done like the first five whole pages and then there's like a partial page for page six over here because I don't know if I can even tell um, and so there's that so we're about to here so there's just like that much more for the next page it's not a full page on the outside and this is on 11 count uh, country French cafe mocha from Witchlet and I got it from 123 stitch I just love this and the last time I checked they were they didn't have any in uh, stock so sorry about that it does come in I think it's called cafe latte country French cafe mocha and the other one is something like French golden needle and that's the darkest one this there's three shades in the country line from which let so that's where I got it and I haven't looked for it any place else so yeah so what is everybody up to oh it's just been a stupendous weekend we've had snow and not much rain it keeps saying it's going to rain so yeah we might even get that yet today because it's supposed to be in the 60s today so still a little chilly it's been getting down in the 30s here the past couple of days nothing you know not like we've had this kind of weather for you know ever because it was in the 60s and 70s I was going without a coat for the past two or three days at work so yeah no yesterday I didn't get much done at all I just kind of sat around I binge watched uh, Lincoln Lawyer on uh, what do you call it on Netflix very good series I don't know if it's going to have another season or or what but yeah very good very good so if you get a chance to watch it watch it it's awesome so other than that making a video or two yesterday and I'm sorry I didn't have a live I just couldn't hack it what can I say just my weekend I guess to just do nothing I haven't done a whole lot of stitching which is fine you know like I said at least Lincoln Lawyer was in English because I usually pick things with subtitles and then it takes forever you know because I can't do stitching and that and read the subtitles all at the same time. It, it, it no. It never works for me. So, yeah. But uh, I thought this would be the easiest counted thing that I had to get out. So that's why I got this out. I tried working on Mary Jane Fry and I'm at an impasse. It's in time out again. Because, yeah, I've counted, and I've counted, and I've looked at the thing, you know, to see if there was some part where it wasn't, you know, symmetrical. I can't figure it out. So, when in doubt, just, just put it down, walk away, and do something else. Because, you know, maybe the next time I pick it up, I will figure out what the heck is up with that. So, yeah. I spent probably two or three hours trying to figure that out, and evidently, I just, I don't get it. You know, sometimes it's just right in 
front of your face. So, yeah. And my daughter didn't want to go anywhere. And, of course, it was sloppy and snowy and all of the kinds of crap yesterday. So, we're not going anywhere this weekend. It's not even attempting to dry out, if you will. No. Not whatsoever. And I don't know how busy it'll be tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And we will have a an order coming in on Wednesday. We're getting them now every week. So she tried to order a little bit, you know, extra each past couple of times. So that when we finally get down to Memorial Day weekend, she won't have to order. You know, that week won't be so terribly, horribly bad. So we got back stock, which is good. So she's just kind of adding to that. Why does that look like that? Huh. That's bizarre. Are we in? Oh, I have to go that way. Hang on. You know how you, you're following what you're doing, but yeah. You got a little ahead of yourself. I'm like, why is that weird? It's not weird. Everything's fine. We're good. I thought, oh God, do I have to rip something else out? Because I really don't think I can take it. Yeah, I didn't want to work on uh, Louisa Cullimore because, you know, i got to get my coffee. Sorry. Um, yeah. Because it's on, um, what is the word? Even weave. And it's so much harder for me to see than this on Ada. So I'm kind of glad that I did uh, one of them on Ada and one of them on Counted. I mean, I Counted. Holy cow. Think again. Word. Ever. Even weave. Jesus. I was like, I think it was evermore. Oh my goodness. What a day. So, yeah. It's just been a kind of an uneventful weekend. But in a couple of weeks, you know, maybe it'll get better. I hope. And we can go somewhere, and the weather won't be crappy, and, yeah. Can't say much for rain, but hopefully this snow will eventually go away. One year, it snowed in August, of all times. Yeah, what can I say? That was one of the weirdest things that have happened. Right in the middle of summer, it snows. So I thought we might as well just work on this one. And get a little further. I'd like to finish this page. There's two more lines down here, and then I can start a new page. And the pages aren't very long. You just go through it one stitch, if you will. Not stitch, but one letter at a time. I'd like to start like numbers or something else other than what I'm doing. So I'm hoping numbers come different and soon. And it's not like I can skip all the way to the bottom and work on the uh, motifs because that's not happening. So, yeah. So no grand plans for this week. The first number is 85. Eight, five, 
five. And today is the last day of all your numbers. So be sure you get all your numbers. And we will have a drawing. I have one more video tomorrow on Monday. And you can put all your numbers in the comment section. And then I will draw for all the winners on Floss Tube Day on Tuesday. It's always fun and exciting. We got that H done. That didn't take too long. Not too long at all. It's so much easier to uh, count on Ada. Because, I mean, it's not like I've been using, um, what do you call it? Uh, even weave for that long. So it takes me a hot moment to figure out where things need to go. But once I get started in stitching, I'm, I'm pretty good, but... If there's a big gap, then there's a hot moment. It's like, oh, holy cow, where? Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to have to get me some more of this uh, 22, 221, sorry, number of DMC. It's kind of a rust red, if you will. Come on, everybody get in there. Now I gotta figure out where to be. cut that tail off pull everybody up so that they're all cinched and right <coughs> yeah that snow out there is just wetter than wet not too much left after yesterday most of it melted off so that's a good thing Because I'm not in the mood for snow. I want it to be 70, 80 degrees. And then just be that way consistently for two, three months. Then you'll hear me bill screaming about my electric bill instead of my gas bill. Yeah. Because my gas goes down to something like $20, $30 maybe. It depends on how much I cook on the stove, you know, over the summer. I try not to do too much because it just makes the house hot. But, and I don't use that big oven, except for as a storage space. I ran against, I ran into uh, Anna Omen, and I was going to get it out, but it's a line thing, you know. So, and it's not very big either. And it's done with, I think it's four ninety eight. But I might get out some of the, one of these days once I get past that that section of uh, it all being in lines because it's done on. For pity's sake, I missed the whole hole. Try again. Um, it's like got an eagle so that's the part I'm look at, working on and it has to be going in line so I know where and what I'm doing 
makes sense. So. And I'm going up and down only because I'm going in this direction. I have the worst time turning. I can turn the whole thing. Let's see. I, I don't know. It's a little hard to see and be in camera view at the same time. But we'll try. Ah. This is very nice fabric. It's nice and soft. And I've got about a yard of it because this thing is huge. I don't know how many inches it is. I don't know if I have that paper handy or not. But it's a big one. It's bigger than, um, what do you call it? Bigger than Louisa Cullimore. So if you work it on 32 count, which is the same as 16 count Ada, you need a piece of fabric 33.06 by 33.56. The actual picture is 27.06 by 27.56. So it's pretty huge. So I have an entire yard of this. And it wasn't real expensive. Maybe $30. I know that, that seems like a lot. But compared to, what do you call it, picture this plus and all that. Mm-mm. It's not that expensive. And sometimes it's on sale. But this is the softest Ada that I've ever found. I've ordered other Ada from 123 Stitch and it's just stiffer than stiff and I've tried to wash it before. It just, I don't know what's in it. It's horrible. I just, I can't handle it. And then you get picture of this. Plus, if I order 11 count picture this plus not 11 count I'm sorry 16 count it's more like stitching on 18 count because it shrinks when uh, the actual dyeing process if you will so yeah and I've never tried what is that one is it fiber on a whim no the one that's you know it's like printed on the material but not on the back of the material just on the front of the material I mean so I've never tried that but I usually stick with Zweigart Zweigart Witchlet and picture this plus and who else have I oh I did order one time from Lakeside Linen and since the big deal they have not had my 28 count but I really love that fabric it was very nice and I believe I'm working on Tudor B on that so I'd like to get some more of that it's just kind of a little expensive you know so I save it for smaller type projects so never can tell what we'll be stitching with or on I haven't found anything that kind of jumped out and said, Hey, stitch me. Not not counted lately. I probably haven't ordered a counted cross stitch and all the threads and everything. Probably for pretty close to a year. So, I'm doing good on that. So, I think... This and Louisa Cullimore and the Monkey Sampler are the ones that I bought, are the latest ones that I have bought. I'm trying to figure out where I need to be. So, yeah. Just not, not, not too interested. I don't know. I did like some of the, they were little littles from, uh, I like the berries from, I think it's Erica Michaels. And then there were some little scissor fob type things. Now I've got some blue 32 count that I could get, but I don't know. I mean, that I, I have, but I don't know. Just haven't been doing a lot of that lately. And I just throw it in here and there. 
on this because sometimes I think you get tired of looking at the pre-stamp stuff. So, and I do like a couple of the patterns that I've seen from uh, Modern Folk Embroidery. So, I might have to look at that again, but I think they're solid colors. You know, just a single color. Haven't seen anything lately from uh, Long Dog that really caught my eye or I wanted to stitch or felt the need that I had to try yeah I've tried three or four of them mm. yeah just it's not that they left a bad taste in my mouth it's just oh that's just too much work so yeah this is nice and easy and I did like, there was a couple of little, we'll call them smaller, back you down a little bit, smaller ones that were just like alphabet numbers or something, and then perhaps somebody's name that I liked from, uh, oh, what is her name? Well, there's hands across the sea, but the other one, uh, whilst Iris naps. She has some really pretty individual colored type things. And then, on the other hand, hands across the sea, when they get colors, they just go ballistic and everything has to be shaded. So it's kind of, mm, no, I don't want to do that. So, yeah. Just kind of standing back and kind of looking and seeing what I might want to do. So, nothing too terribly exciting. I'll just keep stitching on my pre-stamped in this, and, you know, maybe in a hundred years I'll finish this, but I do like working on it. And I missed my hole. So, I just go over it again and just keep on stitching. Okay, i got to move my... <laughs> My material, or my material. Let me make sure I get it right. All right. Fold my pattern up. They all get folded. I printed this off. So, and I'm using my clip. See how I hold my material back? Just so I don't stitch on it. And it also holds my, my little pattern that I have folded up into about 50 different spots. Okay. Hang on. We got it. Go and move my thread. It's too much of a jump, so I don't jump. I just end my thread and start over on the next letter. But see, now this one is going to be closer, so I won't have to do that there. So, it's on a thing-by-thing -thing basis here. This is fairly easy to stitch on and not too much counting and that's why I would suggest Ada unless you're used to doing it stitching on even weave it, it just makes it easier and much more enjoyable for me to stitch on Molly's over there snoring I don't know if you can hear her. the second number for today is 42 Four, two. All right, that is all of the 10 numbers, so get your numbers together and have them ready for tomorrow. And I will put your name in the drawing. Oh my goodness. I think I need a nap today. Yeah, I just don't know how work is going to be. Oh, let me cut that off. So I just cut it down. Like I said, when I finish this, I'll have to go around and 
clip all the excess extra little tails out of there off the back because I'm sure there are some but I'm not traveling that's my back so I'm trying to make it as neat as possible because it's a dark red thread and when you get ready to frame it if there's any lines going anywhere you're going to see them all so just don't do that what am I doing here And I started wrong. No, maybe not. Whoop. Thread gets caught every once in a while. I have had to have the air or air conditioning. Gosh, I don't even wish. Had the heat on here for the past couple of days, just when I thought I was going to get a a better gas bill. Got it down to one hundred and thirty nine dollars. Gee, Manelli. Back there in January or February, it was two hundred and ten dollars. It was totally outrageous. So I'm looking forward to summer and warmer temperatures so I don't have to run the heater. I had actually turned the dang thing off. And then it was like, mm, no. One, two, Not much going on. I don't know what'll befall us this week. Most exciting thing I got going is the what do you call it? The drawing, and that'll be on Tuesday. And then we'll take the week off. You know, from the extravaganza. So it'll be every other week. Whoops. Molly has gotten to go on a couple car rides this weekend. A couple times that I went out when it wasn't so stinking hot. Yesterday, not yesterday, I guess, what was that, Friday? It was just kind of cold all day. It didn't do anything until later on in the evening. So, that was fun. But she likes to go. And I really didn't think that it was freezing enough for me to put the uh, put her uh, coat on, because then she'd been croaking. 
It was like in the 40s, and the wind wasn't blowing, of course not. Not when you really wanted to and blow everything out. That didn't happen. Let me see where we're at here. Yep, it's coming along. I got, let's see, one. Oh, one more uh, letter in this row, and then we'll start that one. But they go faster when they're not these big, huge, huge uh, letters. You know, and I want to say Victorian, but like Old English script or whatever. Yeah, those take the longest, at least for me. And then you got this like cursive alphabet, and then you got that. Then they start getting smaller and smaller, but yeah. It's going to be beautiful. I just absolutely love this. I can't believe I'm working on this. Alright guys, well thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to get your numbers and have them ready for tomorrow's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.